Before the season started, I swear I had a dream. I had a dream of the SAU Bulls going undefeated. I had a dream of one of our players winning the Heisman. I dreamed of us going back to back to the national championship game and this time winning it. And I dreamt, I, I, I dreamt about the confetti raining down on us. And I dreamt that it was going to be wonderful. And the dream didn't stop there because I also dreamed about what dances I was going to do. That's not all. So I dreamed about the confetti. I dreamed about the undefeated season of the national championship. But my dreams never come true. No! Welcome to December 29th, 2013. That's right, baby. We have come a long way, but we are not done. We still got to get a national championship. I dreamt it. I smelt it. I could almost taste it. I could almost feel it. But instead, when we are in the inside bowl, we're ranked number seven in the country. We didn't get no love, though. I tried my best to get us back into like the top five to hopefully get us into a ball game. But you know it didn't happen. I feel like they hating on us, though, man. We freaking lost to Texas Tech by, what, seven? Or, or like three or four? It was a close game. It was a one-score game in Texas Tech. They're going to the National Championship game. They 12-0. They had an undefeated season and are going to the National Championship game. And then who else did we lose to? Notre Dame. By like, I want to say that that, that was a one-score game as well. Look at my man Andy Walter running people over, giving them the business. But like I said, man, we lost to Notre Dame. They're ranked number three in the country. So both of our losses came to like top five top three opponents and we also have another opponent that we face as i get the yahoo zay her virginia tech and virginia tech is ranked number four right now and we beat them but you know it it is what it is we can't look at the past we only move forward baby so we're gonna move forward by getting this thing to set the brain tries to make a man miss gets brought down inside the five they're gonna be second to go from the two yard line and we're gonna find my man Andy Walter getting into the end zone. You know that he might try to go pro, but I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to say, bro, we need you for one more season. The NFL can wait. The NFL ain't going nowhere, baby. So we can win the national championship game with you on the team next season. Andy Walter, that's my speech. Prepare to listen to it. Bell dropping back to pass, and Bell, he going, damn. He going nowhere. He eating grass, son. So we get the ball to Seth Bryan, and Seth Bryan cuts up field, and Seth Bryan, he's going to pick up a big first down. Now from the 44, y'all are Andy Walter. I got that. And he's going to pick up a big first down as well. So we're doing what we do, man. And what do we do? We run the football. It don't matter if it's a quarterback or a running back playing quarterback or a cornerback playing quarterback. We are going to run the ball. First and 10 for the 20-yard line. My man Andy Walter Woo! makes a man miss. Gets inside the five-yard line. And now it is trouble. Second to go from the one. Seth Bryant, do your thing, bruh. Get up in there. Touchdown. So Seth Bryan gets up in the end zone, and now Toledo, they're going to take right back over. They're going to find Bush. They take up a first down, which seems like for the first time this whole video. Now Bell, looking. Bell, throwing, but he threw it to a man that didn't have no hands. Where, where, where did your hands go, bro? He tried to make a diving catch, though, so you can't be too mad at him. Now we can go to my man, Russell. And I really think that this kid, if he comes back next year, you know I'm going to talk to him. He can win the Belinda Cup Award. That will be the first time in school history that somebody won that award. Andy Walter, up that guy. You saw that in the beginning of the video. He had. He has crossed the 2,000 yard mark. I believe he's what the third running back. David Carr. I don't know if David Carr did it. Chris Cooper did it. Who else did it? Chris Cooper did Hargrove do it last year? I know David Carr didn't do it, but maybe Hargrove did it too, man. But anyways, man, we're gonna find my man Oliver. Oliver to the outside. He's gonna pick up a big first down. To, oh my gosh, look at Brad Thomas. Oh my goodness. Oh baby. Oh my gosh, this is an end one mixtape during a football game. He broke two people's ankles and gave that man the stiffy like it was nothing. Not even get the ball to Barry Adam. Barry goes nowhere. Eat grass, son. Second and eight from the 22 yard line. Bell under pressure. Throws this one to Bush, but that's going to be stripped by McLean. And McLean, he's a senior, so this is his last game. This AJ Hunt's last game as well because he's a senior as well. Adrian Smith. Good riddance. You're done too, son. He is a senior as well. I know a lot of people ain't want to see Adrian Smith. I want to see Adrian Smith too. I gave that boy so many chances. Remember, O'Connor was a strong quarterback going into the season. And then I started Adrian Smith because I felt like he was the right dude for the job. But hey, I was wrong, man. I ain't perfect. Everybody make mistakes. But anyways, all I know is that we are up by 28. It's 28 to nothing. And then we give up this. I guess lateral play, halfback pass. I don't know what it was, but they pick up the first down. Now, Bell looking, throwing, and he, Barnes goes up and catches down. What is going on here? 
So now Bell looking, looking, throwing, and it's going to be caught, and that's going to be a touchdown for Toledo. So 28 to 7. These boys, they got a little bit of hope left, man. They got a little bit of hope, man. Now, last episode, my man Seth Brown had a crazy special teams play. This one, not so much, man. We're just going to go up the, up the sideline, get up to the 40, and then break the man's ankles. And now we to the crib, son. Inside the 30, down inside the 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, S-A-U. The Bulls are taking over. Back up by 28, 101 yard kick return. Oh my gosh, Seth Bryant, you are that dude. Then McLean with a big time pick gets it inside the 10 and out first and go from the nine yard line. You already see it, you already see it. It's a pass play, baby, and we're gonna find my man Russell. You know we had to get Russell in the end zone. Russell, he a bad boy. He a bad boy, man. So it is now 42 to seven. Bell going up top to Bush, who brings it in. Big time catch, and he's down inside the 20 yard line. Nice pass play right there. Palmer, he look like a little kid out there, man. Whenever they go in the against like these six, five, six, seven receivers, he look like he's playing Pee Wee football versus like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I mean, I really don't know what's going on, but hey, man, it's 42 to 10. That's what I do know. That's what I do know. It's 42 to 10. We freaking kick him butt, man. But in the third quarter, things are starting to change, man. Third and seven. Bell looking, Bell looking, Bell. Don't get that thing up out of here. Okay, I was lying. Things ain't changed. More of the same. Okay, well, maybe I was being a little bit honest. If things would change for us as we're going to scramble upfield, but that's like really the only thing that we did in the whole third quarter. Because on this play, we didn't get the ball to Seth Bryant. Oh! Coughs! Coughs it up. And that's our first turn of the ball game. They couldn't pay me to wear that. Oh, no. Second and 10 from the 39. Y'all on now. Toledo, they got it. They're going to get the ball to Barry. Barry, he's going to cut up field. Barry, he's going to get brought down by A.J. Hunt. A.J. Hunt would have a fantastic game. You saw him with the Yahoo Zahara earlier. He also finished the game with eight tackles. But look at Barry weaving through traffic like Barry Sanders do back in the day. From the 12 yard line now, they try to go with a QB keeper. That's not going to work. That's not gonna work. This set up for three because that's not gonna work. I can't even believe y'all really tried to do that versus us. Really? A QB keeper? That's all we do is run the ball at SAU. We know how to stop that. So now we can go to the flat to my man Russell. Whoop! Makes a man miss off to the race and picks up the first down, but then he gets brought down. Now what can we do on second until we get to Andy Walter? I, I got breaking tackles. I'm picking up a first down. Just trying to tick tock, tick tock, milk that clock. Now O'Connor looking, oh Chris Oliver, you forgot your hands in the hotel room, what were you doing? So second and four, last chance for Toledo to make this game respectable, uh-uh, uh-uh baby, give it to Miller, and Miller he gonna take this thing all the way to the crib, putting his stamp on this game, and this game is over, SAU 49, Toledo 13, that's gonna do it man, another season is in the books, Another bowl victory is in the books. Another season that let, lets us believe that we got some hope for next year, man. Next year will be our year. I don't care what I have to do, man. I don't care. Some of you guys can see it. Some of you guys are smart enough to understand that it's desperate times, man. I know that Adrian Smith helped us his freshman year when Tony Campbell was struggling. I know that he's helped us get, get us to big ball games. I know that. What I do know is that he was sucking the last half of the season. So if I did not play a cornerback or a running back at quarterback, we probably would have been in the beef or Brady's Bowl. We probably would have been in like the first bowl of the bowl season. That would have sucked even more. So next year, if I had to run the ball all day long, only throw the ball twice, and that's what's going to be, man, because we need a national championship. But that's going to wrap this one up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And I'm going to see you all later. Peace. Hot sauce.